I'm Amy Goodman. Our guest for the hour is Michael Moore. His new book is Here Comes Trouble, Stories from My Life. Your, your early years, Michael, why did you choose to write this book? I actually, I, I, I decided to write this book because I like to read short stories. <laughs> and I, I've always wanted to write a book of short stories. And I thought, why don't I just start with um, not made up stories, but the ones from my own life? Because I, I had a very... Um, uh, interesting, to put it mildly, life before I was a filmmaker, before anybody knew uh, who I was. So, your parents didn't even know. Uh, well, no, my my parents, <laughs> my parents knew <clears throat> very well, actually, um, and uh, perhaps maybe encouraged it on some level uh, because my mother had made the mistake of teaching me to read and write by the time I was four. So, I was already doomed at that point. <laughs> as soon as I entered school. And and also, uh, as I remember it, it was asking questions was an okay thing in our household. Uh, so as a, as a little tyke, uh, that was that the, the that was not put out. The the, the flame of that was not uh, uh, extinguished. So though it did get you kicked out of seminary. Didn't it? <clears throat> well, but yes, by the time I was in ninth grade, um, I was I was very. Um, um, enamored, inspired by the Berrigan brothers. I was I was very um, um, enamored, inspired by the Berrigan brothers, uh, the two priests uh, who had uh, led anti-war protests, who committed acts of civil disobedience against the war, and um, also the the whole Catholic community around Cesar Chavez and. The You know, there were, at that time there were a lot of these, you know, radical priests, and I happened there were there was one actually in our parish, and and um, and so I thought, well, this is what I want to do. I was I was very um, um, enamored, inspired by the Berrigan brothers, uh, the two priests. Uh, uh, you know, there were, at that time there were a lot of these you know radical priests, and I happened there were there was one actually in our parish, and 
And, um, and so I thought, well, this is what I want to do. I am so I'm so impressed by what I'm seeing here. I'm so impressed by what I'm seeing here. You have done something very important and very historic. You have done something very important and very historic. Um I was I was very um um enamored, inspired by the Berrigan brothers, uh, the two priests uh, You know, there were, at that time there were a lot of these, you know, radical priests, and I happened there were there was one actually in our parish, and and um, and so I thought, well, this is what I want to do. Uh, but of course, I'm 14 years old, you know. So um, I turned 15. Well, I, I went I went away to the seminary uh, in the first year, <clears throat> and the the priests there were not, uh, not probably not that pleased with me uh, again because I was asking all these questions: why this, why that, and uh, it's the uh, Catholic Church is not an institution where you want to ask a lot of questions. Um, so, um, <clears throat> anyways, by the end of that year, you know, between that and the fact that the, you know, normal hormones had kicked in and I read the rule book and figured this probably wasn't the uh, best place to be for a teenager, um, 
I went in to tell them I wasn't coming back, and I sat down before I had a chance to say anything. The Father DeWicky uh, said to me, uh, you know, we're asking you to leave <laughs> and not come back. And I said, wait a minute, you can't fire me. I'm, I'm quitting. Uh, he said, well, 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 great, we're in agreement. <laughs> So for once, anyway. So that was uh, that was the end of my um, uh, my years uh, as a uh, as a potential Catholic uh, priest. Talking about illustrious Catholics, can you talk about your encounter with Bobby Kennedy? 